Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome to another Grounded Update video where today we're doing something a little bit different than talking about an actual like update patch notes or playing the game. We are going to be breaking down the Shroom and Doom update trailer update 10.0 that is going to be coming out on June 30th that I am very so excited for. But before we hop in, I want to remind everybody right now to hit the subscribe button, leave me a like and also leave me a comment down below of the one thing you're going to see in this update that you are the most excited excited about so let's hop in we're gonna watch the whole video through and then we're gonna pause it uh, piece by piece and then we are going to break down each individual part and I'll point out different things that I can point out to you guys that I have known so let's play it and let's watch this together in the first year of grounded millions of players kept busy with crafting, fighting, the bond, zip lining, flying things. Now, to celebrate, we present the Shroom and Doom update. It gives the people what they've been asking for, like sitting. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit for when you get sick of your human companions. And of course, mushrooms. But not those kinds. We've also got something that literally no one was asking for. The brood mother. She's so terrifying. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. Go big. Or never go home. Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. All right, guys, I know that all of you guys are just as excited as I am for all the things that they had talked about, all the different things, but I'm gonna point out a couple of things that you guys probably missed during the trailer or you may have seen and you may not have understood. So let's start over from the beginning. I'm gonna be pausing and explaining a couple key things that I'm seeing that I can break down for you guys. All right, so let's start over at the beginning here. I'm just gonna be scooting through the video pretty fast here. Okay, so. Let's start right here. What I want to point out right here is we have sandwich cookies stacked on top of each other right now. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I don't know if this is a new type of building or what have you, but there is also a very large torch that is on top of these cookies as well. Possible new crafting options, I'm not sure. I know that these right here are the uh, pillars that we're gonna be able to build. Uh, they've talked about adding pillars to the game, so super excited about all of those. But on top of that, it looks like we have some large sandwich cookies and a very large torch which looks really, really cool. And I don't know exactly what these are here, but they kind of look like, uh, like seeds. Oh, Let's keep on watching. Millions of players kept busy. All right, this picture right here. I know it's a little bit blurry, but I want to point out a couple things that you may be looking at right now and being like, Sim, what the heck is all of that? So the first things I want to point out is that this armor set right here, this looks like what could possibly be the roly poly armor set. They talked about adding a roly poly to the game. I don't actually see one in the trailer, but they literally have a what would look to be a Roman gladiator outfit or Roman warrior outfit in the game uh, now that's coming out very soon. I'll point out what Pete is wearing right here. That is the black ant outfit, meaning we are going to be getting black ants in this update as well. Um, this hat that Hoops is wearing, this is the wizard hat. So that is an all new thing. And if I play here really quick and we just go back just a little bit more, um, and you look at what Max is holding right here, that is a crossbow. This is a different type of weapon right here that uh, that uh, Willow was holding. So there is a lot more things that they added. 
okay, for weaponry, for armor. Let's look at this right here. This little guy right here, this is the grinder. The grinder is going to be needed in order to make mushrooms. This thing right here, that's right behind it, I do believe this is a kiln. Both of these items will be required in order to make the mushroom bricks. This is what I'm speculating. You guys can see that there's all sorts of cool things that are getting added. When they told us, biggest update yet, they were not kidding this is the biggest update they have ever released so far and we don't even know everything that's coming let's keep watching you can see him using that roman armor right there So one thing I want to point out right here, you guys will see markers in the water right there. But uh, as we watch through this, you'll see that some of these are actually lit up now. I'm not sure if that's going to get adjusted or what, but those are now lit up. So that's pretty cool as well. The Shroom and Doom update. It gives the people what they've been asking for. Like sitting. This blows my mind and i am very 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 excited for this we finally get to sit down in grounded in the chairs that have been there for the longest time it's like why do we have chairs we can't sit in them it doesn't make any sense why would you even put them in the game you can't sit in them they look great but why why now we can sit and that i am so 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 excited for let's keep on watching no seriously a lot of people want to no seriously a lot of people yes sitting sit now, they're talking about pets as well. Now, remember, pets part one is just aphids, okay? They talked about using pets part one as just aphids. Getting a little aphid pet. You can see Willow here interacting with the aphid, petting it. I'm not sure if this is going to be just a fun little pet that's going to hang out with you and follow you around or if they're actually going to be doing something for you. But you can see Willow interacting with it, and we are getting pets, which is also a really, really big deal. Let's keep watching. Get sick of your human companion. Mushrooms. Look at that. Holy crap. Look at those mushroom buildings. Look at that. That is absolutely wonderful. But there is a couple things here that I want to point out that you may not have seen because unless you're pausing like I am, you may not, you may have missed it while you're going through is one. We have all these curved walls just like we had before. Also, they were talking about adding reverse building styles. So these windows that are right here, they may be reverse building style. You're not sure yet, but we also have some rounder openings on the side. Another thing that I want to point out is the top of the walls look like castle walls that are rounded. That's really cool. I don't know if that's a decoration piece or if that's how they're actually going to look, but they look amazing. But uh, one thing I want to point out that you guys may not have seen because it takes the eagle eyed among you and by pausing the trailer and going through and looking at everything that you may have missed, look at the top of the picnic table. There is now stuff that is on top of the picnic table. This is important because I talked to you guys before about not building bases up there and you may lose it. Literally, they are putting things on top of the picnic table now, okay? That is a big deal. That means anything that's on top of the picnic table, you are probably going to lose it. So if you guys haven't already, go move your bases. Please, please, please. I'm very excited to see what's up there. It looks like some sort of jar, maybe a newspaper of some type, but that is just the beginning, all right, of the changes that we can see so far. Let's keep on watching. But not those kinds. We've also got something that literally no one was asking for. Are you kidding me? No one was asking for this? I've had hundreds of comments, thousands of people in my streams asking me, Sim, what happened to the broodmother? When is she coming back? I miss her so much. This is so crazy. And now here we are. Look at how absolutely terrifying and gorgeous she is not looking like anything else in the game. Oh, I cannot wait. She looks She's like a trapped door spider. Arachnophobia mode. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. <laughs> even her blob scares the sh out of us. Looks like we get a new animation when it comes to uh, when it comes to using the the uh, the basketball hoop. That's pretty awesome as well. Or never go home. Oh, and it looks.
looks like we added achievements too. And then the last thing, guys, that's right here is that they are adding achievements to the game, which I'm very excited about because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for achievements. A lot of you guys gave them some really, really, really awesome ideas when it came to the actual uh, Discord. And they said, hey, guys, do you guys have any ideas for achievements? I know on Twitter they also made that post as well. And I know they came up with some really, really, really awesome things. But guys, I am so very, very, very excited for this update. Thank you so much, Obsidian, for putting out this video. It is fantastically made. It looks gorgeous. I'm so very excited for everything that is coming out in this video, and I hope all of you guys are as well. Please make sure you guys hit that like button for me if you guys are just as excited as I am. Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave me a comment down below of what you are most excited about. And guys, I'm sure we're going to be getting a public test server before June 30th, so from now, until June 30th, I will be here waiting to play this new update for all of you guys. So make sure you guys don't miss any of that by turning your bell notification to all. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.